everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts. So today we are making this flower. Look at that. It's quite big and it's, um, you know, it's sort of very three-dimensional. So what do you need for this flower? All you need is the fun flower punch. You also need three colours of paper, so mossy meadow for the greenery, of course. Then this flower is Tangelo Twist and the middle is Lost Lagoon. So I'm going to swap it around this time and I'm going to do the middle in Tangelo Twist. This strip of paper is the width of A4, as you can see, the width of A4. And it's one centimetre wide. So I cut that at one centimetre and this is just a scrap from which I'm going to punch my fun flowers, right? So let's start punching. All What you also need is one of these things with a ball end. Uh, and your piercing mat because that's what we're going to use to shape the flowers. So that's our greenery done. Then we need one. I'm trying to get this out of this scrap of paper because what I'm trying to prove is actually that um, we have different uses for our punches. We have also the possibility to make things from scraps okay so that doesn't matter that one of our my petals is not complete because i don't need it see okay so what we're we going to do we have one two whole ones then these two here uh, we are going to cut one petal out and here we're going to cut two petals out and actually we don't need these okay so that's what we need for our flower now what you do is the following this is going to become the middle of our flower and what we need to do is we need to break the fibers of our paper so I'm going in with circular motion wo working your way around the whole petal so start in the middle and work your way around the whole petal and look it's already starting to shape like a flower then what you do is you go from the tip to the middle from the tip to the middle from the tip to the middle and same thing and this now is almost shaped like our middle see so what we need now is a tiny bit of hot melt glue so yes I have got my hot melt glue glue, glue gun here and we are going to put this together and look there is the middle of our flower done okay so on with the next one so this is the one where we cut out just the one petal and we do the same thing again you work your way round the petals in a circular motion so that we break the fibers and then you do your line I haven't done these ones yet and that way you sort of create your your rounded petal there we go and once again we have a little bit of glue and we attach it together oh yeah <laughs> don't open it up again takes a tiny bit longer to dry <laughs> okay you might notice there's a point there but you can just push that down as you've broken the fibers it will just push down and that will nicely glue into here see and glue them so you offset the petals so they're not in the same place as the bonds before there you go so that's already the middle of our flower done <laughs> hot glue is everywhere okay so we do the same thing for the other flowers and I am pushing really hard here okay so don't be afraid to push into your mat you really need that shape coming out of that paper so then you do your lines and that's when it really becomes 
a you know a 3d shape where it stands up okay so that's we've got that now this is going to be the last one so um you know the bottom one so don't do it as hard as that one obviously because that this one has got to go in there so this one needs to be a little bit more flatter and open but still shaped nicely okay so and then if you just do it like that in the middle look it comes together right so we'll need to do that here as well as I've done it there so hard you need to otherwise it won't fit in there so this one glue in the middle you could use Tombow or if you wanted to um, any kind of other glue is fine but it's just this uh, hot glue gun is so handy certainly for videos because it does work quite well right so there we go see that's our flower done for the middle we are going to have a strip of paper like I said one centimeter and you need to cut this you need to fringe it so you could use your fringe scissors I don't have those so I just do this I have to admit it doesn't take long at all to do this just make sure I'm not concentrating really well I almost cut through it then just make sure you keep your scissors steady and move the paper through them so you're moving the paper and that way you you end up in the same spot you know you don't cut over cut into your paper if you know what I mean you need to make sure it stays one piece of paper but if it doesn't don't worry just cut it and glue it on it doesn't matter nobody's gonna see that was almost through there I just keep cutting and keep moving some are thicker than others but I'm not worried about that here we go nearly there oh I can feel my hand now okay one two three oh that's it <laughs> okay so like I said the width of an A4 again I'm going to put a tiny blob of glue on the edge there and you start rolling it round there we go and once you have the start you can just roll it in your between your fingers like this and make sure it's nice and tight and make sure it's round not oblong or square but round and then towards the end again a little blob of glue at the end bring it round there we have it okay get rid of the strings of hot glue and then you just fan it out a little bit with your fingers like that okay and then you take your flower squish it down a bit in the middle put some hot glue into it and put your middle in and then once it's dry you or yeah cool down you can fan it out a little bit more or you can bring it in a bit more like that and then the last ones sort of bring those down a bit so you I mean you can shape the flower however you want basically once you're sort of you know then this one here now we're going to keep this one as it is not cut out anything but I'm going to sort of make the vein can you see that I'm just going into it with my finer ball there and I'm just creating a vein then I'll just go around the middle so it shapes it a little bit and here I just offset it look I just put it on but not in the middle so you have more leaf on one side than on the other that's completely up to you if, the, if you like that look 
do it like that if you don't just put it in a you can just put it in the middle like that as well see yeah I'll just put this one in the middle that's fine so that's my flower so this is my lost lagoon and tangella twist rose I think do you think it's a rose or do you think it's a different I don't know very much about flowers what do these look like can anybody let me know please okay thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed um, the fact that I've made flowers with a punch that we normally use for stamping and punching so thank you very much for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this and watch out for my next videos bye